For decades, PC and Mac has been dominating the computer market. There's just not been anything else available. Did you even know there's a third option? Well, there is, and they're called Chromebooks. Chromebooks. What the heck is a Chromebook, you might wonder? Chromebook is basically a laptop that runs on the Linux-based Chrome OS and tools solely from the Chrome web browser. You can actually say it has a stronger resemblance to your phone than it has to your computer. But how is it different? Here's a few things to make you understand better. Number one, normal laptops run programs. Chromebooks run apps. Yep, apps only where you're used to downloading and installing software from various places on a PC or Mac, the Google Play Store is your go-to destination on a Chromebook. All Android apps you want are available, so if you're used to running Android on your phone, you'll know what to do. Some of you are now probably wondering, will it run Microsoft Office? The answer to that, yes. Microsoft has released their most popular programs as apps, so you just have to go to the Play Store and download it from there. Second, normal laptops store files on a hard drive. Chromebooks, they store files in the cloud. Yep, say goodbye to Windows Explorer, Finder, because Google Drive is your new friend. The small internal storage is for the apps you download, but music, images, videos, and documents, they're all stored in Google Drive. You'll still find an icon named Files in the menu, but this is more like an Explorer version of Google Drive, where you can browse all of your cloud files the old way. Okay, so now we've got the basic differences covered, but here are some other perks about owning a Chromebook. When you first start it up, it's clean. None of that stupid bloatware, pre-installed mini-games or other lame-ass stuff you want to remove immediately. Just the Google apps you use the most is there. Gmail, Chrome, Play Store, Google Maps, and YouTube. Other than that, a clean desktop. Fresh start feels good, right? Virus protection is also built in, so you don't ever have to worry about dodgy emails. Another good thing about the Chromebook is that it automatically searches for and downloads updates whenever it's connected. It does it all in the back, meaning you don't have to think about it. That means you don't have to answer any annoying prompts or pop-ups asking for your approval. Chill. So, do you have to be connected to the internet to do anything on this machine? Nope. Most apps will let you work offline, so you can finish your spreadsheet, work on your essay, or compose your emails when you're offline, and the Chromebook will automatically sync up and send your emails once it's back online. And that also counts for Netflix and other streaming services that lets you download and watch stuff offline. Movies on the go? Pretty neat. And finally, since they don't pack as much hardware as PCs or Macs, Chromebooks are naturally priced a lot lower. Ka-ching! If you buy a cheap laptop, it's probably gonna be slow. If you buy a Chromebook, it's super fast at all the stuff they're meant for. Starting to get a picture? Well, we have to add some obvious downsides as well. Heavy photo or video editing? No go. You can, of course, run online-based editing programs, Lightroom CC to mention one, but if you want to do Premiere or Photoshop, uh-uh, don't buy a Chromebook. The same goes for games. You can run all types of games available as apps in the Play Store, but if you're a fan of Fortnite, Counter-Strike, Minecraft, etc., don't buy a Chromebook. To sum it up, a Chromebook is a computer that runs on Chrome OS and it lets you run Android apps. It doesn't have much internal storage, it keeps stuff in the cloud. So if you use your computer mostly for browsing the internet, paying your bills, streaming movies, or creating office documents, Chromebooks are fast and cheap options. Definitely worth checking out. Have you ever tried a Chromebook? How was that experience? Please tell us in the comments. And if you liked our video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, subscribe.